Heidi ho my beloved I wanted to come on here and show you something that I just dug out of the purple shed this I put it on a lazy Susan so I could turn it around this is an old Philco let's see if we can see that um, radio um, it is probably functional everything works it's missing its two little knobs down here but they all work we are missing some veneer here and here. No biggie. Um, it's filthy because I just just pulled it out of the barn just a few minutes ago. And it is pretty much intact on the inside. So I think if there were some... I mean, even that... I think this is amazing. Even this little... Um, oh, it's probably made of celluloid. Uh, dial panel is uncracked. So this thing was in a nice cool dry place for many many years. Um, I get all excited when I see things like this where you've got all the information about it, its volts and its ohms and its cycles and its watts and all of that. It's a Philco Radio Model 20. So what am I going to do with it? Well not much. I think I'm just going to vacuum the inside a little bit, get rid of the cobwebs and um, let's go this way and I'm going to wipe it down with a damp cloth maybe hit it with a little bit of oh I don't know lemon oil or something like that and just uh, and just put it on put it on the porch um, let me flip this around I have a as, <laughs> as you're beginning to understand I have a collection of blank. You fill in the blank, I probably have a collection of it. And this radio is part of my collection of uh, uh, vintage antique electronics. Um, this is one of my oldest pieces. I think I've got some pieces that are actually older than this. But um, most of my collection is in the 19... 40s through well 1950s through the 19 early 70s most of my stuff falls into that um, that category there are a lot of um, uh, this house just cracked me up the black and white one is standing next to the brown one and she's licking the brown one's back like it's made out of ice cream anyway so um, most of the it consists of transistor radios. I somehow I ended up with all these transistor radios, and uh, then I have a lot of telephones um, from different. Well, not a lot. I might have five telephones from different eras. Um, some candlestick phones, you know, the the ones where you'd pick the thing up and talk into it. Um, some old rotary dial phones. Some phones that were they look like a rotary dial, but they were pre-rotary dial. You'd have to pick it up, and the operator would answer. There's no dial on the face of it. I have um, some wall phones, some of those big oak wall phones that people used to use. So, um, yeah, over the years, I, they've, these things have landed landed in my possession one way or another. I keep watching this cow. It's cracking me up. Um, so, what am I going to do? Well, up on my porch, and I'm going to show it to you at some point, I've hauled out an old sideboard hutch thing that my uncle and my grandfather pulled out of a house that they were demolishing in Muskogee, Oklahoma. And this was back in the 1950s, probably. And this thing is probably from, I'm guessing, somewhere around the turn of the century, um, of not this one, but the last century, 1900 or so. Um, and I've, again, it's something else I've been dragging around with me for the past 30 years. Well, 38 years, actually. Um, so I decided I would put it up on, I bring it out, put it on the porch, and that's going to display my collection of electronics and communication devices. I thought it would be fun to have a display of communication devices. And I will probably manage to get my Apple IIe computer, which was the very first small computer we ever had in the house, um, up on that display as well. My dad was a... Um, my, both my parents were teachers. My dad ended up going into administration, and his um, his focus was physical science, actually. But he, somehow he ended up with one of these Apple IIe's that were um, given away to the schools way back in the 1980s. 
And so um, I still have it. <laughs> yes, I am a hoarder to the bone. Just I was born hoarding things, I think. So anyway, I just wanted to give you a little peek at that. I'm going to come back with a porch report pretty soon. It needed some extensive cleaning. I hadn't been doing much for the past three or four weeks, just, you know, kind of keeping it neat, but I hadn't cleaned it. So I'm doing some cleaning and some reorganizing, and I will be back with another video to show you that.